happy new moon in Capricorn. And don't you love the number? It's happening January 2nd. So one, two, 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 two. That's an angel number, which promotes love, by the way. I'm gonna give you a little astrology report drop, plus I'm gonna give a little channeled wisdom on what to expect this month. So finally, after a really intense dive into the darkness, we are going to see some light. We're gonna see some freedom, some abundance, some new opportunities. It almost feels like we've been trapped in a cage on many levels. Some of us literally have been boxed in in lockdowns. And now the windows might be opening a little bit wider. This could be an energetic thing. It could be a 3D physical thing, like all of a sudden the things in your business that weren't working before just click into place and the money starts rolling through. Or it could be that you've been online dating for like months or even years and nothing has worked and all of a sudden you are getting three people that you don't know who to choose between. So look out for lots of abundance, lots of opportunity. And some of the most important things you can do at this time are to connect with your soul family, connect with friends, with family, connect with really maybe even new people that open your heart. Old energies such as being friends with people because you should or because you share a certain thing in common from the past. Like it's a good time to let go of expectations around that and to really open your heart to new frequencies. And it might even look like kind of different. Like you might have a friend that's kind of a freak or something like that, but you're like, I love them. They make me so happy. They're silly and goofy. So whatever it is, stay high vibes, get in your high vibration and hang out with people with high vibrations, just like yours, no matter how it looks. Be bold and daring, start new projects, do things that are a little bit riskier, acts that you haven't taken yet that you've been meaning to take for a long time. Go out and talk to people, socialize. If you have a business, a spiritual based business, like the people that follow me often do, you'll want to just have fun and listen to your womb wisdom or your hara if you're a man, really tap into what is your highest excitement? What is your womb telling you? What is your pleasure telling you? Instead of coming from your head, and take action from there. And this is a great time because Capricorn is very organized, very systematic, very structured to take action with those powerful, powerful structures and also just be like feminine flow, moon energy, womb energy. This is a great time to do a money magic ritual. In fact, I actually am leading a money magic ritual. It's totally free. And this is for you if you are a smart, spiritual woman, a divine feminine entrepreneur, you are ready to grow your blissness to six or seven figures and you want to do it your way in flow and have fun. So we have this incredible complimentary around 75 minute networking event. It combines a ritual, a new moon activation for money, magic and manifestation with masterminding with partners or groups so that you can actually get to know one another and build your business not alone but in a thriving tribe of conscious queens like yourself so this is a powerful new moon in capricorn it's all about grounding 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 wealth so take action now take the steps that will actually help you grow your business at our ritual you will get a guided meditation to help you envision and to get the next action steps that will help you quantum leap your income to help you attract soulmate clients from around the world to take those action steps that will save you time and bring you the biggest amount of money in divine feminine ease and flow. So click the link below and join me and a sexy tribe of soul sisters who are just loving and heart-based who can support you. We all need a tribe right now. We're not meant to be alone. And this new moon in Capricorn is a great time to call in people that you might know on the soul level, but you haven't met yet. All right, so the last thing I'd love to share is that during this new moon, bringing in the element of water, which is a great thing to do on the new moon anyways, but bringing in the water, which represents the feminine flow, will help you to amplify your prayers. So if you wanna go for a walk around a lake or a river or ocean, or simply have a bowl of sea salted water, which I recommend that you bring to our, our new moon manifestation ritual, but praying with water is actually going to 111 full of the manifestation benefits. The other thing is this new moon, it would be a great time to bring out that hunk of rose quartz, something like a yoni egg or whatever rose quartz energy, because we're bringing in masculine structure with this really soft feminine pink heart energy. I think of the two, 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 two as a sacral chakra sort of peachy pink 
color and it's a great time to bring in that abundant frequency that's soft that's feminine and also we need the hardest rock masculine structures right now oh and i wanted to share that we might see some really positive freedoms being given with the coronavirus situation we might see some lockdowns alleviated and all of this old heavy headache stuff this um, forcing pushing confining energy that's been imposed on us by dark forces that we're not really that excited about some of those things might really lift and with that we might realize during this crushing time over the last year and a half two years almost we have actually gotten crushed into these sparkly diamonds so as you come out on this new moon in capricorn and actually the energy of this new moon will impact around the next four following weeks so pretty much the whole month of january you'll feel this effect where you'll feel more open, more flow, more opportunity. So really take advantage of this new moon. Plant the seeds, set your goals live on the new moon. Join us, it's free, it's a ritual, open to all divine feminine entrepreneurs and light workers, healers. And for those of you who are just so excited to bring in 2022 and who don't have businesses, just take time for yourself to connect to the water element, to do your prayers, to set your seeds, for 2022 because this will build off of the next moon cycles throughout the year. All right, thanks for joining me. Click the link below. I hope to see you at the ritual. Namaste, namaskill.